Saturday I'm going to get to uh, in Auckland along the Viaduct uh, Harbour. Very uh, sunny day and uh, there's a lot of Aucklanders walking uh, up and down this uh, nice uh, boulevard. Because uh, it's uh, Saturday morning and uh, I seem uh, to be quite a dodgy uh, character, reading uh, the New Yorker magazine, having a, a cup of coffee. People think for some reason that I'm doing the, the walk of shame or something along those lines. Uh, I've got no idea what that is, but uh, apparently it's like a badge of honour for uh, Aucklanders. I've written an interesting uh, article here, uh, one uh, by the name of uh, Emily Norsba. Uh, I read it in uh, the author's descriptions that uh, she's actually a Pitzer Prize winner, 2016. So it's a very, very uh, impressive article about uh, Donald Trump and uh, about how TV created uh, his uh, victorious presidential uh, campaign. I just want to read one one very, very uh, interesting uh, paragraph here which uh, does uh, describe quite well the um, American dream. I'm just going to quickly uh, shut this off and uh, come back to you once I find the relevant page. Okay, so I uh, found the relevant page and uh, let me uh, proceed here. So uh, it reads, uh, if you're Donald's friend, he'll defend you all day long. If you're not, he's going to kill you. And that's very American. He's like the guys uh, who built the West. America is the one country that supports the entire world because of guys like Donald who created jobs and tax base that can support the entire planet. That's what The Apprentice means to him. The producer concludes with a grin. It's a love letter for me to America and to New York City because we choose New York City about what makes America great. Just on the point of uh, America, since I've been uh, reading the New Yorker magazine and uh, talking about how TV has uh, exemplified but at the same time personified how uh, Trump is going to make uh, America great again. I mean, I've been uh, living in uh, New York myself and I do understand that the Americans do things to a very high level. The population over in America is 320 million people and that's um, a lot more than what you have in Australia, which is about 24 million. Then you've got 60 million in the UK and 60 million in France and about 80 um, million over in uh, Germany. There's a lot of competition over in uh, America. I can give you one example how uh, high the level is uh, over there. Like uh, when I was in New York when I first arrived, I had uh, jet lag and with jet lag, four in the, or five in the morning, the only thing that's open is the gym. And I always admired Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger. He uh, trained at a very famous gym called uh, Gold's Gym. There's a franchise uh, in uh, New York along uh, Times Avenue, or should I say Times Square, which is on uh, 7th Avenue and uh, 42nd Street. So I'm in the gym there by myself all alone, and then uh, you get a whole like fleet, or should I say, um, a whole legion of football players. Uh, these uh, football players particularly uh, came from uh, Cornell uh, University. They uh, play the NCAA uh, football uh, league. And I've never seen athletes train this hard. Like, um, they had piles and piles of weights on the dumbbells and were doing a clean and jerk pretty much constantly for about an hour and a half, like uh, at the most intense level I've uh, ever seen. And at that point, when I saw how hard their athletes trained, the corporate world must be uh, even uh, just as uh, intense or even uh, more intense.